Today, I am going to show you the GMRS radio that changed everything. The new B-Tech. B-Tech, which is an American company that sells Chinese radios, mostly Baofangs with different stickers on them. The B-Tech GMRS Pro. This GMRS radio has a built-in GPS, built-in compass, and it is Bluetooth compatible. And as if that was not enough, it also supports data over the air. That means sending data over the GMRS airwaves. These things really are exciting for a GMRS radio. Look at my face. You can see how excited I am about this radio. I feel all giddy like a schoolgirl. The price for the GMRS Pro from BTEC is $139. affiliate link below. And B-Tech did not send this radio to me. I'm not even sure that the boys at B-Tech, boys and girls at B-Tech, I'm not even sure if they know who I am. Let's not kid ourselves. Of course they know who I am, but they did not send this radio to me. I paid for this B-Tech GMRS Pro with the money that I collected from last month from my paying supporting members. Those are the members that like my channel so much and enjoy my videos so much. They put their money where their mouse is and they clicked the join button below. And this is what I do with all those dozens of dollars that I collect every month from those supporting members. I buy things like the new BTEC GMRS Pro and I test them out and I tell you if they're junk or not junk so that you don't have to. Now before I go any further, allow me to point out one very important thing. The BTEC GMRS Pro just became available for purchase just in the last few days and I'm not going to string this out. I'm not going to make you watch until the end of the videos like so many of those desperate YouTubers would do. I'm going to say it right now. Yes, you do want this radio. This could be the biggest leap forward in GMRS technology since they replaced vacuum tubes in GMRS radios with transistors back in the 1960s and 70s. Do you remember those big giant GMRS radios that you had to carry around back then? Anyway, it is public knowledge that because I am a YouTube superstar, every time I do a positive review of a new radio, they sell out very quickly. And I predict that these radios are going to go very fast. So if you ever want to touch one of these radios, stop watching the video now and go order yours now and then come back and watch the rest of the video. Affiliate link below. When you purchase the BTEC GMRS Pro, you will receive a user manual this is a well-written user manual, written in easy to understand English. It goes over all of the features of both the radio and the app that you use with it. It is 71 pages long, no Chinglish, very well-written, not the most perfect English, but very well-written and easy to understand. You will receive a belt clip, as well as some tiny belt clip screws for affixing the belt clip to the radio. The belt clip affixes to the radio itself, not to the battery. So you can remove the battery without also removing the clip as is with many radios. You will receive a screwdriver, presumably for getting the belt clip screws in and for removing the side cover on the side of the radio, which I will show you momentarily. You will not receive a handsome hand strap as many radios often come with, you do get the belt clip so that you can attach the belt clip and the radio to your belt and really impress the chicks. And believe me, once you start telling the chicks that this radio has Bluetooth and can send data over the air, they are going to throw themselves at you. They may not look interested when you're telling them this, and they might even start to look like they are in fear for their life but do not let that stop you from explaining every minute detail of this radio in excruciating technical detail because eventually they will give in because of the implications. You will receive a 2600 milliamp hour battery and you will receive a USB-C charging cable which affixes directly to the battery for charging 
You then connect the other end to one of the dozens of little battery charging bricks that you have laying all over your house. The radio does not come with a battery charging cradle, just the cable. And you will receive the BTEC GMRS Pro GMRS radio. The battery attaches easily. It is also easy to remove by lifting up on the clip and sliding the battery downwards. The BTEC GMRS Pro has an I oh almost forgot. I have neglected to do this in my last few videos showing equipment, and many people have been much sad. Oh yes. Where was I? The BTEC GMRS Pro has an IP67 rating which makes it moderately waterproof. So yes, you can play with it in the bathtub. The BTEC GMRS Pro is not a super heterodyne radio. It is an SOC, often referred to as a dual conversion radio, also known as a homodyne radio. Homodyne. But not only do most people not know what that means, but also most people will never even notice that it's not a super heterodyne radio. This is a GMRS radio, so you do need a GMRS license to transmit on it. You do not need any license to purchase it or to simply listen to or play with the radio, as long as you do not press that button. Even though this radio can receive many more frequencies than GMRS, which I will cover momentarily, it will only transmit on GMRS frequencies according to what it says in the manual. But keep watching because I've got a little surprise I will show you about what frequencies you actually can transmit on. The radio is much like most other GMRS radios you have probably seen. On and off knob and volume control here. This is the antenna for the GPS system. This is the radio antenna, which is removable. However, our overlords at the FCCs have decreed that radios that send data over GMRS, such as this one, must have a non-removable antenna. And I have read that some of these radios have shipped with a drop of glue in the antenna to keep it from being removed until you give it a good twist. And then it is removable. The radio can receive commercial FM radio and all NOAA channels, and it can also receive NOAA alerts. It can receive VHF frequencies from 136 to 174 megahertz and UHF from 400 to 520 megahertz and the radio can store 180 channels to scan through or transmit on and it does everything you would expect from a GMRS radio like split tones and multiple repeaters on the same frequency with different tones the radio has a color screen which is not great in bright sunlight but there is a fix in bright sunlight you just do that BTEC says this radio outputs 5 watts, so let's check that. Allow me to explain what I'm going to do and how I'm going to test the power, because if I don't explain it so that every idiot can understand what I'm doing, then every idiot will leave a comment saying that I'm doing it wrong. As you can see, I have attached the radio to the Farzometer 2000, which is correctly pronounced Farzometer 2000, you will see that I am not using any patch cable or cord. I am going directly from the radio into the Farzometer 2000 because some of the experts have pointed out that a patch cable could skew my power reading. That's not really true, but it is easier to go directly to the Farzometer 2000 and not having a patch cable in the way. I will then press the power transmit button and we will read the power output right here. Here on the Farzometer 2000, we will also see an SWR value here, which will be the big value in the middle. Ignore that because we're not testing the antenna. We have the radio attached to a dummy load to absorb all of the RF electricities. So the SWR value that you see here will be invalid. We are simply concerned with the power output to see if it matches or is close to the 5 watt claim of BTEC. So I have the radio on channel 16, as indicated by the sideways H right there. It is on high power. Let's see what we get. 6.12, 6.03, 4. Oh, it came loose. Invalid test. Invalid test. 
Let's do it again. We're going to call it six, six watts. Six watts on channel 16. Let's go to a repeater channel. GMRS repeater channel 21, 467700. We get 5.7 watts. So this radio indeed does output at least what they claim that it does. And the question that everybody wants to know is, how many FARs does it talk? And this radio has a lot of FARs. I talked with my friend Conrad. Conrad, also known as the chef. He was on his base station with a big antenna on his roof 13 miles away. And when I talked to him on this radio using this antenna, he said that I was coming in loud and clear. And I can also hit all of my favorite repeaters with this radio. One of them 30 miles away and one of them that is 69 miles away. Yes, 69 miles away. However, because I live on a hill and I have very good line of sight to everything, your FARs may vary unless you also live on a hill. I believe I started showing you the physical attributes of the radio earlier and then I got sidetracked because I'm so excited. Volume knob, GPS antenna, GMRS antenna, push to talk button, three programmable buttons, the red button on the top, and two programmable side buttons. The top button can be programmed to do different things for both a short press and a long press. The two side buttons can be programmed to do different things when you press it, when you do a long press, when you hold it, and when you double click it. So each of these two buttons can be programmed to do four different operations. The top can be programmed to do two different operations. As you can see on the screen, it has a channel name indicator. It has a compass, which actually works quite well, a speedometer and an altimeter. I've also put in my nickname for me, which is the identification that gets sent to other radios when I transmit and the date and time, which automatically sets itself when you pair the radio with your phone. On the side, there is a waterproof door, with a big screw, and it has a, I think that's called a mini K1. It is not the standard K1 type adapter that you would find in most other radios, but do not fear because you don't need that unless you're gonna be hooking up some sort of accessories. And the reason that you don't need to worry about what type of connector there is as far as programming the radio is because you do all of the programming from the app that you put on your Android or iPhone. As far as I know, there is not and there will not be any software to program it from a computer because this radio is designed to be used with the app on your phone. You simply download the app from your favorite app store. However, you can program everything on the radio itself without using the app, but really you need the app because without it, doing most of that programming directly on the radio is a pain in the bitch, especially for things like channel names because there are no alphanumeric buttons, it's a pain in the bitch. So you use the app to program everything, which I will show you momentarily. And once you have it all set up, you can use the radio without the phone, just for talking like a regular radio, talking to your friends. But any of the fancy stuff is much easier to do using the app. Should you venture into the menus, the interface is very easy to use. Simply use the up and down arrow key, hit the OK or return button to make your selection and hit OK or return. It's very simple. It is very easy to pair with your phone. Simply come down to the pairing option, hit OK and open the app. Your radio will show up on the list here. You tap it and you're connected. It took me about five seconds to pair this with my phone. The app is actually very nice. It is simple, but it works very well. No sign up is required to use the app. There are no fees. You do not have to submit an email address or anything. You just install the app and start using it. Once you have your phone paired to your radio, you can control everything on the radio through the app. For example, if I wanna to listen to FM radio, I hit the radio button. I can go into the settings by tapping the settings gear. I can control the volume, the squelch level, there are different settings for the speaker in case you're using a Bluetooth headset. Because this is Bluetooth enabled, you can connect a Bluetooth headset or your car to the radio. I haven't tested that, so I'm not sure how well that works. 
And before I forget, almost everything that you do on the radio happens immediately. So as you can see right now, it is on the Ranchino repeater, as indicated here. If I change to the Santiago repeater, you can see that it changed instantly. And vice versa. If I make a change on the radio, for example, if I change to a different group, that shows up on the app right away. I can enable the talk around feature, should I desire to do so. I can change the power level. You can see when I go to low power, it changes the power indicator to L. High power changes to high. I can change my display view from the current double channels, GMRS 17 and GMRS 19, to a single channel view only, because listening to two channels at once can be confusing. And I can enable scanning by hitting the scan button. There are some interesting settings that most GMRS radios do not offer for eSample. It has an audio relay function. When that is enabled, the radio will record everything that it hears and then retransmits what it receives, just like a parrot. This kind of makes this a simplex repeater. I haven't played much with it, but I think that's what that's for. It has an adjustable microphone gain, which most radios do not have. This can be very useful if you're using the radio in a loud place, like in a Jeep on the freeway or for when you're at the shooting range. And you can update the firmware, the firmware that is inside the radio. You can update that through the app wirelessly just by tapping that setting there. And you can easily add or change or customize your channels just by tapping on the channel and holding on it. I can change the title to read whatever I want. You cannot change the frequencies on the base GMRS channels, but on the custom channels, you can. So if I go to my custom repeaters list, I can add a new channel simply by tapping on an empty one, giving it a new name, and selecting the transmit frequency and the receive frequency, if it's a repeater channel. You can set your transmit and receive tones here. Power level, bandwidth. You can disable transmitting on this particular channel if it's a scan only channel. And you can add it or remove it from the scan list by tapping there. Now here is the little surprise that I mentioned earlier about what frequencies you can or cannot program in and transmit on. When programming a channel, you are limited to the frequencies between 462 and 468 megahertz because that is the GMRS range. But there are a lot of frequencies in that range that are not actually GMRS frequencies. That means that you can set up a channel to transmit outside of those GMRS frequencies. Allow me to demonstrate. I have reattached the radio to the Farzometer 2000, which is in turn connected to a dummy load because what I'm about to show you would make the FCC very sad and I do not want all these sad hams and hall monitors leaving comments saying that I'm going to go to jail. Although I still don't understand why so many sad hams care about what we do with our GMRS radios since they're not ham radios. So as you can see here, I programmed a channel at 467.999 megahertz. And when I switch to that channel, as I've just done, and as is indicated here, when I transmit on that channel, you will see on the frequency counter of the Farzometer 2000 that it did indeed transmit at 467.991 megahertz. It's on low power, so it only went at uh, a quarter of a watt. And it would be the same for 465.550, which is not a GMRS frequency. So for now, at least, the radio limits you to transmitting within that range of GMRS frequencies, but there does not seem to be very many limits, if any limits, on what frequencies within that range it allows you to transmit on. I'm sure a future update will fix that because a GMRS radio is not supposed to do this, and this will make the overlords at the FCC very sad. One of the biggest features of this radio is sending data over GMRS, which no other 5-watt GMRS radios currently do. That means that you can send text messages to other GMRS Pro radios, no cell phone service required. The text is sent digitally to the other radios over the GMRS airwaves. Now allow me to say that again as to reduce any risk of confoculation. 
the radio can only send text messages to other GMRS Pro radios, or maybe in the future, other brand radios using the same protocol. But the point is you can only send data or messages to other phones paired to another one of these radios. You can actually read the messages on the radios themselves. You don't have to have a phone to read the messages. But again, the point is you can only send data to another radio, not to just any phone. So don't think that you're going to be texting all of your friends with this unless your friends all have these radios. Your location can also be included in the text messages automatically, and then your friends with their GMRS Pro radio can see your location on the map. And the app lets you pre-download maps so that you can view the maps in the middle of nowhere when you have no cell service. To send a message, you just tap the message button and type your message in. You would select your recipient from the list. No one else that I know has one of these radios, so I have no one on my list, and I don't really have any friends. So you type your message and you send it, and if I had selected someone from the recipients list, it would transmit out over the airwaves, and they would receive it on their phone and on their screen. You can also read the messages on your screen. The radio also has an option to search for nearby people so that you can add them to your list, making the messaging very easy. Text messages that you send are limited in length. It looks like they are about 250 characters and the messages are not encrypted. They are digital, but they are not encrypted when they go out over the GMRS airwaves. When you send data, it is transmitted on whatever channel you are on. So to receive your messages, your friend must be on the same channel and your friend must also be within radio range of you. Basically, you have to be able to talk to them over the radio in order to send them any data. And actually, the range for data is slightly less than the voice range. You get less FARs for data than you get with voice because when the signal gets weak, you can usually still understand and make out what someone is saying. But with data, the data will usually fail on a weak signal. When you transmit data, other people listening on that same channel will hear your text. and It will sound like a modem data sound. It sounds kind of like this. And there are limits on how often you can send the text messages or any data out of the radio. These limitations are not put in place by BTEC. The limits have been decreed by our overlords at the FCCs. If you try to send too many messages too quickly, the phone will tell you to wait. And the manual says that the radio will not transmit data over repeaters, but mine did appear to do so. The radio does not have a Roger beep, but it does have the option to send your location at the end of your transmission every time you talk to someone, which gives that little data burst sound at the end, which is almost as good as a Roger Beep. Now, as much as I love this radio and what it does, the radio is not perfect, and it does have a couple of very small issues, which I will point out now. The first is because of the type of color screen that it has, it does not do very well in bright sunlight. There is a fix for that, if you're outdoors in bright sunlight, you simply put your hand over the screen. And the second issue, very minor, is that changing between groups of channels in the app is very clunky. It's not very easy. It's really not a big deal, but I think they could improve that if they tried. So should you buy the new BTEC GMRS Pro radio? Yes. This is a very well-made radio with a well-designed app and the GPS compass, data over the air, and Bluetooth is something that is way ahead of all other GMRS radios. Right now, no other GMRS radios can do any of that. And because both the firmware of the radio and the app are so easily updatable, it will only get better.